Welcome to Superior Profit Weekly Market Roundup, 3rd February 2019. I am Sagan Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. If you are interested to know more about me, the company and its trading products, you may visit the website superiorprofit.co and click on the About menu. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. In today's topics, we look at oil and gold using technical analysis. They tend to impact related stocks. When swing trading stocks, we like to align them with the trend of the market. We'll study market's direction using NASDAQ and NYSE market breadth and technical analysis of market ETFs. In addition to aligning trades with the market's direction, we also align them with the industry strength. We'll study industry strength using scorecard and heat map. Along the way, we may look at some of the trade ideas shared in our traders forum and look for potential trades for the coming week. We begin our commodities analysis using oil futures. We are looking at it using weekly backdrop template and daily entry template. Together we call this at a glance template because this template helps us decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. As discussed in previous market roundups, you could take a long trade in oil right at the bottom when it tried to go below the memory support line and reverse from there. Since then, oil is going up. This week's candle color and shape both are bullish. In the daily chart, price was below the memory trend line resistance on Friday it closed above that price is overbought in the daily chart if you are using intraday entry template then you may try to take a long trade in oil if you are using daily chart template then you may wait for oil to go up then pull back and go up again, thereby giving a higher low and try to take a long trade from there. Gold ETF GLD using at a glance template. In the weekly chart, it is going up. This week's candle color is bullish cyan. The shape is also bullish, but it also has an upper tail. In the daily chart, gold is going up. On this candle, it gave us a cyan flow color candle. That could be taken as a go with flow long trade setup. However, the price was close to the upper boundary line. Therefore, you might not try to take the trade using daily chart. You could try to take the trade using Q intraday template. On Friday, gold displayed a bearish headwind possible reversal signal. Therefore, if you are holding a long position in gold, you may be careful and apply trailing stop using Q protection signal. Because the weekly candle is bullish, there is no bearish headwind trade setup and therefore you don't need to exist any existing long position in gold. 
market breadth analysis using NASDAQ composite index and NYSE composite index both using weekly charts. Because this study is using broad indices and longer term weekly interval, it is to be used more for longer term investment decisions. You may use it for swing trading also but not for day trading. Other than the broad indices, we are looking at three pairs of internals, new high low, advanced decline and up down volume. Both NASDAQ and NYSE recovered from the lows for six weeks in a row. That shows that the market is strong. However, if you look back, you see that price has not been able to go above previous high, which should be here and here. And also the drop from the previous peak happened in three weeks. And the recovery is in six weeks, but still it couldn't take out the previous high. The same is true for NYSE also, the drop happened in three weeks and we are six weeks into the recovery but still it couldn't take out the previous high. That is not telling about the aggressiveness of the bulls. Over longer term, both NASDAQ and NYSE are in a downtrend. The internals dropped heavily during the fall of the market. Now they recover and we are not having any meaningful signal from the internals right now. For this specific week, internals are bullish. All the internals closed above zero and new high low went up from previous week. In summary, we may conclude that over longer term, the market is bearish. However, in the short term, market is recovering. If you looked at the daily charts, both these composite indices are overbought in the daily interval. Therefore, you may be careful and not try to buy stocks that are already overbought. S&P 500 ETF SPY recovering from the lows for six weeks in a row. Still it couldn't take out the previous peak. The drop happened in only three weeks and in six weeks we are not able to take out the previous high. This week's candle color and shape both are bullish. In the daily chart, price is gradually going up. It went above the yellow direction line as well as the white direction line. On Friday, we have an indecisive doji candle. The daily is in a uptrend shown by the swing color being in green and price is already overbought. Because SPY is overbought, you may be careful buying into stocks that are also overbought. NASDAQ ETF QQQ, same picture as SPY recovering in the weekly chart. This week's candle color is bullish. Shape is somewhat mixed because it has an upper tail and also a lower tail. In the daily chart, price is going up steadily, closed above the white as well as the yellow direction line. Swing trend is bullish. Price was overbought in the daily chart, but it displayed a pair daily signal. Friday's candle was indecisive. Doji candle, price is too close to the upper boundary level. It is overbought, therefore, you may not try to take a long trade in QQQ and price is going up. Therefore, there is no short trade setup either. Dow Jones Industrials ETF DIA 
same picture again price is recovering in the weekly chart weekly candle color and shape are bullish daily is gradually going up somewhat close to the memory resistance line and already at the upper boundary level price is overbought not a time to take new long trades Russell 2000 ETF IWM same picture again price is recovering in the weekly chart this week's candle color and shape are bullish in the daily chart price is gradually going up this Friday we have a doji candle in decisive shape candle and it also displayed a very shadowing signal price is overbought in the daily chart if we combine the analysis of the market breadth and the market ETFs, we come to the same conclusion. Over longer term period, the market is bearish, but for several weeks now, market is recovering. In the daily charts, all the ETFs and broad indices are overbought. This is not a time to keep buying stocks that are overbought. You may be careful if you are looking for a long trade you may wait for a pullback and then let the market go up creating a higher low and if you are looking for a short trade you may wait for proper short setup before trying to short the market that is the conclusion we arrive at from the market level it is time to be careful not to take long trades not to take short trades however when you drill down into the sector level and then further into the industry level then look into stocks fundamentals and technicals you are always able to find swing trades where the industry fundamental and technical forces are aligned giving you very high probability and high reward risk ratio trade one month sector performance analysis we are looking at the 11 sectors across three review periods the red bar represents performance of last five days green bar performance of five days prior to that the blue bar performance of two weeks prior to the green bars together they give us one month of sector performance this week other than consumer discretionary all the 10 sectors went up showing the strength of the market consumer discretionary decline all the other sectors are coming to the right of the zero line showing they went up over one month energy is the best performer by far its gain was muted this week however it was the most accelerating as well as the strongest sector on friday you can see that from qh sector heat map and scorecard this is energy went up heavily over one month the red bar shows this week's performance the second worst performer of the week it went up but second worst performer of the week but on friday it accelerated materials was gaining and that strength is continuing this week it is the best performer in the last market roundup, I discussed about the possibility of taking long positions in some of the material stocks. I discussed X, US Steel, and also AK Steel, AKS. Both of those trades ended up in profit. Here is a look at the sectors using QH. Over five days last week, 10 sectors gain, 1 decline, only consumer discretionary decline here and all the other sectors went up. Materials is the best performer for the week. 
energy went up this week but not much if we look at the one day's performance magenta color you can see energy went up strongly on friday it was one of the best performers then it decelerated a little bit and on friday went up strongly you may start looking for new buy opportunities in energy sector scorecard and heat map it analyzes the 11 sectors across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over 10 days 5 days etc cyan represents strength magenta represents weakness this week's performance is shown by the five days column materials and real estate at the best performers energy and consumer discretionary at the worst performers looking to the right you can see that materials was weak earlier magenta color and now becoming strong therefore you may look for buying opportunities here energy weakened over five days relative to the other sectors however if we open up the two days and one day scores we can see that on friday it is the best performer the pace column shows acceleration deceleration acceleration is shown by cyan color deceleration by magenta color over one week over last five days consumer staples is the most accelerating sector if i open up the acceleration columns for two days and one day periods you can see energy became the best performer on friday and it was also the most accelerating sector that is why i mentioned you may start looking for new buying opportunities in energy stocks in q a superior profit way we like to buy stocks that are in strong industries here are the 10 best performing industries of this week we are looking at their 5 days and 10 days scores three of the best performing industries are in the best performing material sector and you could look for buying opportunities here we just now saw during sector analysis that materials is the best performing sector and we have three materials industries construction materials steel and building products coming in the best performing industries list home building is also related to building products and it is one of the strongest industries this week in the last weekly roundup i shared exp a stock in construction materials industry i discussed it as a possible buy candidate and mentioned you could consider buying it if it went above 69 price point that would break the memory resistance that was in the daily chart at that time indeed exp broke out of that memory on 28 january and it has gone up by 8.9 percent this week giving us a profitable trade qh industry scorecard and heat map like the 11 sectors qh analyzes hundreds of industries across the 12 monthly review periods and more frequently for recent periods best performing industries of the week are shown by cyan color under five days column construction materials is one of them using this heat map and scorecard you could see construction material strengthening last week itself as i discussed in the previous market roundup and you could look for buying opportunities these are the stocks in construction 
materials industry i discussed exp last week it has medium valuation we can just look at the color the valuation column is coming in yellow color therefore it has medium valuation and it had good earnings growth in the previous quarter this week it had earnings this quarterly earning had negative growth year over year earnings growth was negative for the current quarter our buying decision was based on previous quarter's earning growth which was positive and though this quarterly earnings growth is negative the yearly earnings growth is positive and it is increasing therefore we will consider this to be a fundamentally medium to strong fundamental stock it has medium valuation yearly earnings growth is improving though the latest quarter has a negative earnings growth incidentally after the latest quarterly earnings which happened this week the stock actually went up exp using at a glance template the stock displayed bullish headwind in the weekly chart as well as the daily chart at the very bottom since then the stock steadily went up on this day 28 january it broke above the memory resistance that was on the chart at that time it went above 69 price point and you could take a go with flow trend following trade on that day right at market close putting stop just below recent low since then price is going up on friday it closed above the upper boundary level in the weekly chart the candle color and shape is strongly bullish the stock has medium fundamentals the industry is strong under such circumstances you might consider booking partial profit and then hold on to the remaining position with a trading stop trying to let profit run you can also see from the relative performance line sharply going up that this stock is massively outperforming the market that is another reason you may hold on to partial position in the stock this is another look at the same stock exp using the q volatility chart template you can see the day when price broke above the memory resistance that was our breakout entry point it also came out of the squeeze q squeeze this is not the traditional squeeze or squeeze release calculation that you find in other systems we have our own calculation and we can see that visually also the stock was inside a squeeze and on this day it went out of the squeeze shown by the green color on the squeeze dots so you could take it as a breakout squeeze long trade as well and it also gave a go with flow trend following long trade setup on the same day therefore there were many reasons to take a long trade on that day and the trade is working out very well just like we look for buying opportunities in strong industries we look for shorting opportunities in weak industries these are 10 of the worst performing industries of this week and seven of them are in the consumer discretionary sector we saw during sector analysis that consumer discretionary is the worst performing sector that was the only sector that declined this week and therefore you are better off avoiding buying new stocks in this sector and especially in these worst performing industries what are the seven consumer discretionary industries that are doing very poorly these are 
housewares and specialties, computer and electronics retail, specialty stores, department stores, apparel retail, restaurants and laser products. Very broad weakness in the consumer discretionary sector. In apparel retail, ASNA has medium valuation and poor earnings growth. Therefore, fundamentally also this is not a strong stock. Industry is weak, fundamentals are weak. You would look for a shorting opportunity. And indeed, ASNA signaled a go with flow trend following short setup on 22nd Jan that turned out to be a very profitable trade. The worst performing industries of the week are shown by magenta color under 5 days column. Apparel retail is one of them. If you look at the worst performing industries, you can immediately see from the scorecard also that many of the worst performers are in consumer discretionary sector. Many. You may avoid buying into them. At the same time, several of them are weak for a while. You can see. Houseware specialties weak for a long time. Department stores weak for a long time. Magenta color across many of the review periods. Therefore, you will look for shorting opportunities, but not unless you have a low risk entry opportunity. ASNA, it has medium valuation. The valuation is in yellow color. And the yearly earnings growth are all negative. The latest quarterly earnings growth is also negative. Therefore, you had a stock in a weak industry with weak fundamentals. You would look for a shorting opportunity. ASNA using Q. At a glance template. Incidentally, ASNA displayed bearish headwind in the weekly chart at the very top, and since then price dropped heavily. It is in a downtrend. This week's candle color and shape both are bearish. Previous week's candle color and shape were bearish as well. As the stock was going down, here it tried to recover a little bit, came to the declining yellow direction line and then started to go down again. Gave us a magenta color candle, that is the flow color on this day. That was the optimal point to take a short trade, trend following short trade. Stop would be just above recent high. And by Friday price came down and hit the memory support line. That would be the initial profit target. Because there is memory support, trend line support, both in the daily as well as in the weekly chart, you would book at least partial profit with discipline. The industry is weak. The stock is also fundamentally weak. Therefore, you might consider holding partial position with trailing stock, but you would be careful because there are memory supports in both weekly and daily. Price is also oversold as shown by the stretch band in the daily chart. In Q technique, we buy into strength. We look for buy setups in strong industries. And we don't look at only industries that are currently strong, but also look at industries that may be weak now but are accelerating fast. These are the 10 most accelerating industries of this week. Therefore, you would look for buying opportunities. We saw consumer staples is the most accelerating sector and three of the most accelerating industries are in that sector. These are tobacco, household products and package 
foods and meats. You would look for buying opportunities there. In household products, ENR has sound fundamentals and it is forming a base. You may look for a buy setup after earnings which is coming soon. In QH industry scorecard, the most accelerating industries are shown by cyan color under page 5 days column. Household products is one of them. It was strong earlier, weakened in the middle and strengthened this week again. The 5 day score is not pure cyan yet, but it is gaining strength that is shown by the cyan color under base column. ENR is a stock in the household products industry. Its valuation is in cyan color, therefore it is optimally valued and it has accelerating earnings growth, green earnings growth in the yearly periods as well as the recent quarterly periods. Accelerating industry, value stock with increasing quarterly earnings growth. So the Industry force is in favor of taking a long trade. Fundamental force is in favor of taking a long trade. You would now wait for a buy setup on Q technical charts. ENR using at a glance template. It had a sharp drop and now it is stabilizing in the weekly chart for several months. from around end of October previous year it is stabilizing not going down anymore the candle colors backdrop candle colors in the weekly chart turned to yellow neutral first and now it has turned cyan bullish this week's candle color and shape both are bullish in the daily chart it displayed a bullish headwind signal since then price is not dropping anymore price is inside a triangle pattern supported by support trend line memory trend line and it is near a resistance memory as well it has earnings nearby if the stock goes up after earnings probably goes up pulls back and goes up again giving us a low risk entry opportunity then you may consider taking a long position in the stock. If we look at the same stock using another Q chart template, the price extremes template that colors the candles using price extremes. We call it pendulum color. At the very high the colors become cyan green or dark green. At the very low, the colors become magenta, red or dark red. This is useful for long-term investors also. You look for strong fundamental stocks to be of good value. We saw in Q scorecard, vital scorecard, that the stock has optimal valuation. That was in terms of fundamentals. And in terms of technicals also, we see that the pendulum color is red. Here, therefore, it is a good value in terms of technicals as well. And now we can see on Thursday and Friday, the color turned to yellow, neutral. That is the best time to start looking for buying opportunities. As a stock comes to pendulum low and then starts to go up from there. You could use this chart template and this technique to look for swing long buying opportunities as well as long term investment buying opportunities. Yet another look at the same stock ENR this time using volatility chart template in Q system. 
we can see volatility was very high. It was expanding. Volatility was exploding shown by the green dots on the volatility bands. And then since about early December of previous year, it is stabilizing. We are in a kind of squeeze. Earnings is nearby. If the earnings results in a squeeze breakout to the upside, then you may look for a buying opportunity. Just like we look for buying opportunities in accelerating industries, we look for shorting opportunities in decelerating industries. Electronic manufacturing services is one of the most decelerating industries this week. In this industry, PKE is overvalued, is looking tired near 52 week high. It is also inside a Q squeeze. You may keep an eye on the stock for a possible low risk shorting opportunity in coming days. The trade setup is not there yet. However, it is showing some signs of weakness. If you are holding a long position, you may book profit, at least partial profit and protect profit in the remaining position with trailing stock. And you may start looking for shorting opportunities. In QH industry scorecard, the decelerating industries are shown by magenta color. These are the most decelerating industries of this week. Electronic manufacturing services is one of them. It was stronger earlier, cyan color, and now it is reducing in score. And that is being picked up as deceleration in the base column. In this industry, electronic manufacturing industry, PKE has overvaluation shown by magenta color in the valuation column. And the last three yearly periods had negative earnings growth. For the latest quarter, earnings growth was positive, but for the yearly periods, earnings growth was negative. Therefore, you would consider this as a weak fundamental stock, overvalued stock with poor earnings growth as well. This is in a decelerating industry. The stock has poor fundamentals. Therefore, you would look for shorting opportunities. And if you have a long position, you would be careful. PKE using at a glance template. After the previous earnings, it had a sharp up move. It is still going up. This week's candle color is bullish. However, the shape is indecisive with both upper and lower tails. Price is close to a memory resistance trend line in the weekly chart. In the daily after earnings, it had a sharp gap up move and since then it is gradually going up. This Friday, it ended with a mixed shape candle, hollow body, however, with a long upper tail. Price is being supported by memory trend line support. If the stock starts to drop next week, goes below the memory support, you may book profit in existing long position and look for shorting opportunities. A while ago, we looked at a stock ENR using the same price extremes template or pendulum template. ENR was at a pendulum low and then it was starting to change color to yellow and I mentioned that would be the time to look for swing as well as long term investment buying opportunities. For PKE we have the opposite situation. It is at a price extreme high and therefore this would not be the time to look for long term investment buying opportunities instead you may book profit in existing position and if the stock starts to drop from pendulum high you may look for shorting opportunities 
another view of the same stock PKE using volatility chart template. You can see it was in a squeeze. The red dot started appearing on the volatility bands and then it was starting to become neutral, yellow color. It has not started expanding yet. If it starts to expand, then the band will have green dots like we had here. So we had a squeeze, strong squeeze, and now it is neutral in terms of squeeze. If it becomes green, then the squeeze release will happen and you may look for a trading opportunity in the squeeze breakout direction. Something interesting is going on. You can see the candle color has turned cyan. That means option volatility has gone up. It was magenta that was very low option volatility and on Friday suddenly it jumped up. That is shown by the option volatility indicator as well. What does it mean? It means that if you are getting a short trade setup, it would not be useful to take the short trade using simple put options because the option volatility is very high. Both the indicator as well as the volatility template candle color is showing that. You could take a short trade using the stock or you could use short call vertical in this case. In this way, combining all the insights from industry, fundamental, technical, you can not only decide whether to take a long trade or a short trade or to stand aside, but can also use the volatility template to decide whether you could take a trade using simple options or you would look for other options like verticals, iron condors, or just use the simple stock. Those were the regular topics. I will analyze more live stocks in the Monday morning market meeting. You may register for it from the education live class page. Before I end, let me summarize the market breadth analysis as well as market ETFs analysis is showing that market is recovering but it is still in a downtrend over longer period. In the daily charts, the market is overbought. If you could buy at the bottom when the market started recovering just after Christmas last year, you already have significant profit in your trades. Because the market is becoming overbought, you may consider booking some profit or at least protect profit using trailing stock. Many of the stocks are also overbought. This may not be the best time to buy them. In Q technique, we always look for buying opportunities at a swing low. Though the market is overbought at the industry level, we always have industries going up and down. And using our 360 degrees technique, you can always find suitable trading opportunities where the industry is strong, fundamental is strong, as well as technical is strong. Following that approach, you could start to look for buying opportunities in energy stocks now. It accelerated on Friday. You can also look for buying opportunities in consumer staples. It accelerated over the last five days. You would also be careful about buying into industries or sectors that are weak now. For example, consumer discretionary sector. That is all that I plan to share in today's session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in our next session and also in the Monday morning market meet. Have a great weekend and trade profitably. <music>